So we are going to create a series of lectures where we want to understand how climate affects biology or the biosphere which includes various species of animals, birds, uh, plants and so on. So let's start way back to see how the solar system evolved, how the earth has evolved very briefly and show that actually the continental configuration we see now where each continent is, is not fixed in time. So over time they have evolved. So we'll see briefly how the earth structure is uh, arranged, why continents move and how the movement of continents affects climate and how continents movement also affects life but more importantly how the evolution of life itself affects climate. So climate is not independent of life and life is not independent of climate and both are dependent on how geology or the movement of continents work. So the main focus is still on the biosphere and climate but we will start with the background of geology. So look quickly at the screen here. We know the Earth's radius is 6,371 kilometers. So quickly see that the structure is basically made up of the so-called core, the mantle and the crust. But you can see that the structure is divided further into the inner core which is rigid, made of heavy elements like iron and nickel and the outer core which is a liquid and above that is the mantle which is mainly made up of silicate materials and on top of that is sitting the so called crust which is divided into the oceanic crust and the continental or the terrestrial crust. Because the oceanic crust is under water several kilometers on average three kilometers and water is heavy, the oceanic crust is compressed it's denser, darker, whereas the continental crust is lighter in density, also lighter in color. So the crust itself is made up of igneous rocks, granitic and basaltic. So the main idea we want to see now is why is that continents move? So the oceanic crust itself forms on geologic time scale several thousand year time scale at the so called mid ocean ridges. As the oceanic crust forms and uh, spreads, uh, it interacts with the continental plates, it subducts or crushes against them and so on and so forth. In the map you will see that above the liquid you have the part of the mantle that is rigid called the mesosphere. Above that you have the asthenosphere which is actually plastic which means it can flow. If you put pressure on it, it can flow. So as the temperature increases and the pressure increases, this can melt the rocks and when the plates are thin enough, the magma can actually come out or they can come out of the volcanic mountains we have. So it's not when volcanoes go off, it's not, the magma is not coming from the core, it's just coming from the melt, the so-called melt of the rocks from the asthenosphere. So islands like Galapagos and Hawaii for example are pushed uh, through the plates and coming out. So as the plate moves, if there is a hot spot of magma, the magma can come out and as the plate moves, the magma stops coming out so they become islands or dead uh, volcanoes. So this is the main reason why we have plates moving around and we will see in the next module more details of the lithosphere itself which consists of the upper part of the mantle and the crust itself. So this is basically to understand why the continents move around. Mm -hmm.